This is a random scribble. Now I'm gonna turn this into an artwork, but whenever I've done the scribble challenge, it's always up for debate as to what direction we should be approaching the scribble from. In this video, I'm gonna do the scribble challenge on four angles. Now, this sample little whatever scribble, this is gonna be my wall. I've photocopied this a number of times, and I thought I'd show you exactly what I mean and illustrate the complexity of the challenge with something quite simple. Starting off on this angle, then on this angle, then on this angle, and then on this angle. So let's get the warm up going. I mean, I immediately see like a face, there's a head flowing down here. Sort of see this like as a grumpy, slightly unnerved mouth. Don't know what that little dot is. Oh, pearl necklace. Little ear, tapping into that thing there. And then we've got this luscious, wavy hair. See? Um, oh, wow. That's what she sounds like in my head. All right, scribble two. So I see like someone's hunched back and I feel like that's like a sleeve of a shirt. So maybe there's an arm coming out here clutching whatever it is that's extended out there as a scribble. Ooh, it's like a skateboard dude. I mean, it's working it's, except the hunch back is very hunched. So let's just go full Quasimodo. <laughs> Quasimodo the skateboard dude. Again, these came from the same scribble and they're unique and different. There's a closed eyelid and there's a an open eye. We're going for a little monster, so let's just add some monster ears and look at that. All right, come on guys, that's pretty cool. All right, last but not least, um, I'm just gonna start turning things into things. This is an arm holding a box. All right, now, obviously I'm slamming through this. I'm, I'm just rushing through it, but it is warming me up and I feel like I'm pretty ready to get started. I don't know what this is, it's not a puddle. What is it, a rug? A bear rug. It's a very tortured bear. <laughs> All right, I haven't thought that one through. But there you go, that makes sense of the pic. I've, got, I've, I've done the scribble challenge, is the point. In this video, that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the scribble challenge four times, rotating it every time, and it's gonna look even more impressive because it's gonna be on this. LG's brand new ultra fine display ergo monitor comes with an ergonomic arm instead of a regular monitor stand. And there's nothing more ergonomic than having a monitor that moves exactly where you want it to. Oh my God. Now, if you're a creator like myself, you understand that spending a lot of time in front of a monitor means you can get back pain or neck pain, depending on your position or what you're working on. It's the very reason I'm obsessed with boom arms and with the ultra fine display ergo monitor coming with an ergonomic arm like this, it allows you to take control of the angle as you wish. The beautiful monitor and an ergonomic stand that make it easy to switch into a portrait mode when you're doing art or anything else. You guys know I love my boom arms. This thing comes with a boom arm and it's a bloody good boom arm. I should stop doing this. This is a brand new, beautiful piece of hardware. <clears throat> so if you're looking for an upgrade or a brand new sexy monitor, do yourself a favor and go check out LG's ultra fine display ergo monitor. Links in the description and a huge thank you to LG for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get started. I mean, getting started, first things first, I need a scribble, of course. And I think the way to do this most fairly and legitimately is to take the control away from my hands. Come here, little helper. Now I need you to do a little scribble on here. You get to draw five Lines. Boy, oh, slow down. All right, that's good. Give it a little push. Push down. What? Right, stop. Stop. Give it. Why? Okay. All right. Not bad. Good. Push down and stop. Whoop. Let go. <gasps> oh, we're looking good. Push and go. All right. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's done? It's not. All right. Stop. I think that's it. I think you just perfected it with that last little line. All right. Well, thank you very much for your help. I shall create four beautiful artworks based on your scribble. Thank you so much. Delicious. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to make it even clearer for myself, I'm actually going to add a color overlay and make it a bright red. Let's get started on scribble number one. And I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I, f I, f I keep seeing a tummy. I'm just gonna sketch this out as if it's a tummy and then this would make this like a head. Wait, this is a sleeve of a king or some sort of noble figure with a big ring, sort of like a kiss the ring on my finger sort of thing happening here. So this would then need to be someone or something bowing to the king. Oh, wait, hang on. This is someone about to pay their respects to the king, but he notices his fingernails are like sort of gross and unkempt and he's got like a hairy hand and it smells. All right, okay. Oh, all right, it's actually, it's actually starting to work for me. 
just a few more details here and there. His neck, I think, should be a little more frilly, just to fit the, uh, the theme that we're going for here. I am pretty bloody happy with my first scribble, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some line work, some color, and make my first scribble illustration. A royal feast for the eyes to behold. Let's jump into it. As far as turning the scribble into an illustration goes, I mean, guys, come on. So I think to make it nice and clear, I'm just gonna lighten everything up behind it, and there you go, look at that. It's perfect. <laughs> that is one out of four. I'm gonna rotate my tablet aspect ratio. I'm gonna turn this into a portrait orientation, and this into a portrait, oh my god, dientation. <laughs> so looking at this and trying to decipher it, I keep seeing some sort of humanoid silhouette where like these are like the feet or legs or something. This is the midriff, maybe there's a head up here or maybe that's the head, I don't know. But I keep going to see a person. <sighs> I feel like for some reason I see like the, the head of a snake. Which sort of works, because all of these things could be like the snake all coiled up in some fashion. All right, cool, let's roll with it. What else we got? Ooh, maybe I'll go with the face thing, but this big lower head thing I could use for like a Neanderthal-ish face. Like a really big brow up at the top. <gasps> got it! This is a big hand. This is a leash. And this is history's first ever domesticated giant snake pet. But the snake's pretty happy. I think they're getting on. And then I guess because they're buddies, this guy should be smiling, not grumpy. But with that, I think that's sort of it. I mean, look at that, that's sort of perfect. All right, ha! Next, rotate 90 clockwise again. Flip our orientation back to landscape. And let's figure out illustration three. What do I see little footsies? There's a little foot, there's another little foot. There's a tummy, what's up? No, okay. Ah, this is not easy, guys. You know what? If I were doing this in any way that would make my son happy, it would be something to do with Mario. I'm just gonna squeeze it and make it fit. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's running because he's late, and this this is a mushroom kingdom path. This is a sign saying don't be late. I'm doing this all without references, people. Hey, this is uh, this has turned out all right. The little tree. It's uh, uh it, it, yeah, it's pretty harshly squeezed <laughs> into Mario, but I think that might not matter. I mean, he does look like he's running away from where he's meant to go, but it doesn't matter. It's just about, it's a perspective. It's a clever compositioning. Now it's time to make this piece really make as much sense as I possibly can. Last but not least, this is the scribble. <sighs> I need to turn into my fourth and final drawing. Mm. Is it like a horse? What is it? I don't know, it's not good, I'll get rid of it. What if we go back to the horse idea, we just tweak the proportions a little bit. This is still a goofy looking horse. <laughs> and it's a do and the horse is doing a big jump. Oh, I think we've rescued it. So we've got a rider here. Oh, this is it, people. This could be some sort of jump, I guess. This is a racetrack. It's an admiring onlooker. Yeah, go horsey, jumper person. 
Wait, hang on. Proportion wise, this person is about the size of a football and under the jump. So, it's a dog. How do I, what do I do with this bit here? It's a dog food bowl and the dog's just standing behind it. This, I know this is not what horse jumps look like. Don't at me, horse people. I gotta finish this artwork off. Hoi, let's get stuck into it. I did it, damn it! And I think I did a pretty bloody good job turning this scribble into four... into four artworks. But before I can call this a job well done, I'm gonna have to get some feedback from the scribble artist himself. Guess what? What? You drew that scribble, and I turned your scribble into four pictures. Wow. Are you ready? You want to see the first picture? What's happening in the picture? Does that look like a king. king? And he's trying to say, kiss my ring. And he's going, cause he's got smelly hands. I'll show you where the scribble is. Do you see it? Yeah. You want to see another one? Yep. Check this out, ready? Whoa! Oh. And boom! Do you like that one? <laughs> What's happening in this one? Um, he's like, I want to catch a snake and eat it. Eat it? Yeah. I thought they were friends. Do you want to see where the scribble is? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. There you go. What else do you have? You want another one? Yeah. I think you're going to like this next one. You ready? Mario. Yay! But what else is in the picture? A Goomba. A Goomba. And this sign says, don't be late. Do you reckon he's on time or does he look like he's late? He's like, I'm late for Princess Peach because I'm late going to be married because I'm going to be married. He's going to be married to Princess Peach? Yeah. And the Goomba's like, you're late for the wedding. And that is what the scribble looks like. And what else? And one more. <laughs> and... What's that? Can you tell me what animal that is? A horse. Okay, thank God. What's that? Can you tell me what animal that is? A dog. Oh, thank God. Yes! How would you rate my performance in the Rotation Scribble Challenge? Do you reckon I did not so good, pretty good, or amazing? You, put, you did pretty good. Pretty good, okay. But right. you put the dog into one place. I did, okay. All right. There are, there are, let's not look at the glaring issues too closely. There's some flaws, but we did pretty good. And that's a success, isn't it? Yeah, but next time, don't put the dog there. Done. Thank you for your help making the scribble and judging my artwork. You're very helpful. You're welcome. Bye. And there you have it. I think it's a challenge well done. Once again, let me know what you think down in the comments. Massive thank you to LG for sponsoring this video. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun with art, creativity, and all sorts of fun challenges. There are more videos you're bound to enjoy over there. Otherwise, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Maybe this, what's this? Finger guns. No, no, what are you gonna do? This is cooler. You go pew. No, this is a cooler special piece. Like a this. special piece. Special piece.